The Indiana Repertory Theater's inclusion series is well underway. Three productions by minority women will take place in this theater. They are still in the design phase for one of those plays, but theater representatives say they hope this gives playgoers an inside look at the minority life experience. The theater has a way of entertaining and the right play can also teach. That's the Indiana Repertory Theater's goal with its inclusion series. We're dedicating a series of three plays to the Chinese American, Native American, and African American experience here in Indiana. Theater representatives say the inclusion series will add to the classic theater rundown and set the stage for new voices. It's not just for audiences of color. It's actually for our white audiences as well. It's for audiences to know and understand their neighbors, and that's a very diverse experience in America, um, and making sure that all of those stories are told um, with great respect. There are three plays in the series, all written by minority women. The curtain closed on And So We Walked, an artist's journey along the Trail of Tears last month. And So We Walked, an artist's journey along the Trail of Tears, the first in our inclusion series. I was amazed at how much uh, American history uh, I did not know or I had been taught incorrectly. Um, and I think that uh, it was a beautiful telling from the Cherokee perspective. The remaining two, the Watsons go to Birmingham. Part of the revelation of the play is that the children have not experienced this kind of overt racism that they experience in the course of both the drive and then the time in Alabama and the paper dreams of Harry Chin. The Chinese Exclusionary Act, which was a period of about 60 years in the 20th century where Chinese immigrants were banned from immigrating to the United States. While these plays highlight stories from the minority perspective, there are several themes from family and struggling that can somewhat resonate with all of us. All three of these inclusion series play have families at their core and families who are wrestling with their own cultural pasts and that intersection with mainstream culture and some of the good and bad that come of that. Theater representatives say they have a long history of showing plays written by black male writers, but they are excited to expand that. And while this is the first inclusion series, they believe it is the start of a commitment to keep telling those often untold stories. These are real American lives and stories uh, that are three-dimensional and beautiful and will be told in a way that will really inspire you to want to know more. One of the plays in the inclusion series is already wrapped up, but over the next six months, you'll be able to check out the two other plays. You can go to wishtv.com for dates. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV News 8.